In this video, which is part 48 of the coin market cap uh, series, what we want to do is we want to move this item, or at least this label here, as I move this. As you can see here, the labels will start to move based on the last value. Of course, the coloring is still not working, but we're going to focus first on this item here. So let's continue on. And in this video, I'm going to cover a specific item which I got from my question in uh, one of my Patreon viewers. Was how would we, if we zoom in, how would we change this? Normally, I would not do it, but I thought, well, maybe it's a good topic to cover as well. So what I want to do is I want to, when we zoom in here, for example, like this, we want to have this update. So this will be a two-part video. The first one is to solve this one first, because that's luckily the easiest one. And afterwards, you have to figure out how we can match the colors. So let's do this one first. To do this, we need to go down and we have to look specifically, well, let's see, uh, somewhere related to the starting point, which is in this case, this one here, number 146, uh, sorry, 146. So this here is basically the value. If I go in here, refresh, you can see here, it will get the value. However, what I want to do now is I want to change this. So how do we get this value basically? Now the value here is the index. So what I need to know now is uh, based on what is this? Well, if I move this, what will happen is basically the value of the time on the X scale changes. How does this change? Well, let me show you. We can go here in the scales.x and then we just have to get here the x.min value. If I save this, refresh, you can see here we get the value of this specific data. And if I change this, it starts to adjust its position. This is very important. So that would mean that this value, we need to figure out whatever this index number is. And once we have that, we're going to match that with this item here. So what we're going to do here is, well, let me show you. Let's copy or let's do another console log. Put that in here. And I'm just going to grab this here. What I want to do is, of course, this index number here needs to be adjusted. So what we're going to do here is, uh, what we need to do here is the array method of index of. So how do we get this? Well, let me scroll up here so we can understand it. I need to get basically this one here. Specifically, uh, the labels in this case. And the labels is a formula, as you can see here above. So here we create multiple labels. And the dates itself is the one we need, because that will give us what we call here the uh, the time exactly in milliseconds. So that's what we're going to use. Let's scroll down here and go back here to the starting point item, which is 147, if I'm not mistaken, or 146. Uh, there we are. So what I want to do here is, first of all, let's get the index of the labels. So we're going to say here, we have the data here. So I can just say here, data dot labels. And I'm going to say here that dot index of. And I'm going to grab this, put it in here. Save. All right, ignore that. And refresh. All right, so now I get index zero, you can see here. And if I move this, I should see here an incremental and change of the value of this, which is 141, all right? So that will be basically the date here. If I copy this part, uh, let's see here. Let's grab this, all of this. If I'm not mistaken, I need the index number, that's 148, of course, sorry. So I'm going to grab all of this. This all together, I'm going to put it in here. Save that, refresh. Now you can see here this, pay attention to this. If I move this, you can see here now it adjusts based on the index number itself. Of course, we're not done yet because you can see here the number is not really, let me just remove the console log so it will not reload multiple times. The number or at least the coloring is not correct. We'll cover that in the next video.